Thank you so much. Uh, and uh, let's start. So good afternoon, everyone. In a few moments, the President of the General Assembly will deliver opening remarks at the high-level luncheon on disability inclusive development. Ms. Maria Fernandez Pinoza will take part in the event, which is also being attended by the Vice President of Argentina, Ms. Gabriela Michetti, and the President-elect of the General Assembly and Ambassador of Nigeria, Mr. Tijani Muhammad Bandi. The luncheon takes place on the sidelines of the annual session on the Conference of State Parties to the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, CRPD. The rights of people with disabilities is one of the seven priorities of President Spinoza's agenda for the current session, as you know already. Last year, she launched the Steering Committee on Accessibility, which is co-chaired by Antigua and Barbuda and the Republic of Korea. The committee seeks the cooperation of member states, the secretariats, and civil society in order to advance full inclusion for people living with disabilities. Ms. Espinosa says that the inclusion is crucial to achieving the sustainable development goals and to harnessing the full potential of approximately 1 billion people who represent 15% of the world's population. Eight in 10 people with disabilities live in developing countries. And this afternoon at 3 p.m., she will attend the high-level meeting on women with disabilities in political and public leadership towards Beijing plus 25. This meeting will take place uh, at UN Women, just around the corner. So more information on our website. And earlier today, the General Assembly held informal consultations on the political declaration of the High-Level Political Forum on Sustainable Development, which is convened under the auspices of the GA. The meeting will take place on 24th and 25th September this year here in New York. The PJ sent a letter to member states with a revised draft of the political declaration for consideration. Mrs. Spinoza appointed two co-facilitators to the intergovernmental consultations, the Ambassador of the Bahamas, Her Excellency Ms. Sheila Gwyneth Carey, and the Permanent Representative of Sweden, His Excellency Mr. Olaf Skog. Member states now are invited to make comments and suggestions on the declaration, which includes commitments and also a call to accelerated action among other points. And you can find the entire draft uh, on our website in the section letters. This is actually everything from us. Do you have any questions for today? Rhonda, go ahead. How are you? Mm -hmm. Fine, thank you. Uh, yeah, there, two days ago on the 10th, there was a presentation in an informal meeting of the General Assembly of the Secretary General's um, Assembly, the Independent High Level Panel on Digital Cooperation. Mm -hmm. And it was had a lot of people there, even though it was in the Trusteeship Council. And essentially, the uh, members had not yet read the report but they were um, welcoming of it. And there was, I was surprised because there was um, the Assistant Secretary General, just let me get his name. I, I uh, for, sorry, take, here, Feb, Fabrizio Hochschild mm -hmm. was there. He's uh, the Assistant Secretary General for Strategic Coordination. And at the very end, he, he rolled out a very elaborate passing of the report. And I was surprised because the members hadn't read it yet. And um, I'm sort of wondering, is, is this under the General Assembly that this is happening? Do you know anything about this and how I can learn more about what the um, General Assembly, you know, what its plan is? with? Because this was all new. I thought a lot of people didn't even know that meeting was happening. And there no, were no, the a lot actually, of people not represented yeah. at it as well. No, actually, the meeting um, uh, happened, uh, you are right, so it took place on, on Monday. And uh, we also uh, flagged, uh, brought some information the week before about this meeting uh, here. Uh, as you know, uh, the, this is uh, an initiative by the Secretary General, and uh, he uh, appointed uh, Mr. Jack Ma and Ms. Melinda Gates uh, to uh, lead the, the work. Uh, so we had a briefing here as well with some of the participants, and uh, the President uh, had actually, uh, a week before, uh, an informal meeting of member states where they could uh, meet and discuss 
uh, the issue. It's an important issue, of course. We have uh, nowadays about 50% of uh, the population, the world population, which is not, co not connected uh, to, the, to the Internet. And uh, all that this uh, represents in, in, in terms of uh, uh, knowledge and opportunities, uh, you know, the opportunities also in the economy, as we all know. Uh, so if you go on our website, you can get more uh, information on this. But also, I can uh, send you the link if you Yeah, if you I, I would appreciate that because uh, essentially, I thought that this is a question taken up a long period of time mm. by the internet community, by netizens, by people online, and they were not part of any of this. And yes. I'm just wondering um, if everybody is to be connected, the question is, will it be just to get the information and to buy things, or will it be so their voice can be heard and yeah. this can be a people-centered information society, which is what the World Summit on Information Society by the UN in, in uh, 2005 request, you know, SOAR as the yes. vision. Mm -hmm. And I didn't hear any of that from yeah. these people, and I did read a yeah. lot of the reports. So no. I would appreciate if you could tell me more sure. about the president's meeting and, sure. and uh, you know, I'll give me some you. more background on this. Thank mm -hmm. you. I'll send you. Thank you for the question. Yes, welcome. How are you? Good, thank you. Mm -hmm. I have a, um, if there, is there any updates about the Venezuelan migrants from the PGA? Mm -hmm. Yes, in fact, we spoke about that uh, yesterday here when uh, Oscar uh, uh, asked the, the same question. Uh, the situation is very concerning. And uh, from these uh, 4 million uh, people uh, who are now uh, uh, considered uh, migrants or refugees, it doesn't matter. There are people who are uh, actually who had left the country because uh, of uh, the, the crisis, the political crisis, and all the consequences uh, that uh, they are experiencing uh, right now. So we have uh, these figures from, um, as you know, uh, our uh, agencies and uh, from uh, the, the uh, reports, basically uh, a million people, one million people uh, out of this four million uh, were generated between uh, November and uh, uh, the first uh, months of uh, uh, this current year. So it's a very concerning situation. The PJ is actually following it, following it uh, uh, very closely. Uh, as a matter of fact, this morning when she had uh, her uh, meeting with the SG uh, over a uh, breakfast routine meeting, uh, they talked about it. Uh, it's a matter that she's, uh, um, you know, have been appealing uh, about uh, in order to uh, both parties and all parties concerned to seek a dialogue, seek a constructive uh, understanding um, about um, looking and generating uh, a solution to the crisis. Uh, the situation is serious, and uh, the PJ appeals for uh, dialogue and um, uh, understanding because, uh, as we know, uh, no other form of uh, uh, that is not a diplomatic way of solving this crisis, uh, might uh, uh, work in this uh, situation. And uh, right now, we are talking about this for a while, but uh, right now we know that uh, the people of Venezuela uh, need uh, a solution to the crisis, uh, need that uh, this political deadlock uh, uh, is uh, resolved, uh, because the crisis is actually affecting them um, on a daily basis. Yeah. And also, uh, just to um, again reiterate that the PGA is very uh, uh, grateful uh, to humanitarian workers and uh, to the entire event system, which is uh, helping there as well, but also to the countries uh, which are um, trying to help and uh, to accommodate the Venezuelans uh, who are leaving their own country because of the political crisis. And uh, the same goes to the uh, groups uh, which are trying to help and the countries with influence um, which are trying to help uh, to solve it. Yeah? Thank you. Anything else? If not, uh, thank you very much for your patience and I see you tomorrow at the same time. Thanks.